What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Slow RT here. And I know I've been uploading really, really slow, but good news. I ordered some car parts and they came in the mail this week. And oof, oof. <sighs> so I, um, Saturday morning, I woke up early to get here to my friend's shop because he's going to install them for me. And they are Demon Racing Springs by Carlisle. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I, I've been wanting these springs for a, a while now, and, you know, if I didn't get these springs, I think I would have kept my car stock height, because, just because it scrapes everywhere already, and I'm hoping with these springs it doesn't lower it too much, because they're, they're set up for, like, drag racing and digs, so it's basically, supposedly on their website, the same springs that come on demons, like the same design and all that but it should help with digs and zero to 60 just a little bit just a little bit because it's supposed to transfer help transfer the weight more towards the back at least that's what I heard it shouldn't give you like any horsepower because come on there's springs but it should help with dig racing so that's the only reason why I got the springs and if not I wouldn't have gotten like H&R or I-Box springs I would have just kept it stock height but because I did go to Sonoma Racing back in October for my first time at the drag strip, I freaking loved it. And, you know, I'm, I'm hopefully later on this year, I'm going to keep on going to the drag strip just to see how my car is improving little by little. So here, let me show you guys the, the springs I got. Ta -da. You think these are the front or the back? What? Are these the front springs or back springs? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Sheesh. So beautiful. So I just noticed. I guess the tires do rub. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I do need some spacers. Let's see. Let's see. 
So if anything, it looks like the back part got lowered. The front, ha, huh, you guys see the video on that one. Fucking scrape. But the top, the front end looks like it got lowered. It either stock height or it's lowered. But I mean, it looks good. Drag strip, you know, from a dig, you want all the weight to go towards the back. So that's basically what it does. Lowers the back, either keeps the stock height or raises up the front a little bit. But yeah, that's about it. Short video, you know. I didn't stay at the shop because I had th other things to do. It has bird shit right there. But if you guys ever need um, parts or an alignment installed, hit up my boy shop, City Alignment Concord. He does a great work. He did this for me in a few hours. And the alignment is included with the price of the springs. All right, guys, here's an update of uh, the Demon Springs. As you guys can see, I think it, if anything, it raised it from the front and it lowered it in the back, so it's perfect for the drag and all that. Two week update, I like it. So driving, it's, I, I like the springs. If anything, I feel like the Demon Springs made driving uh, better just because um, I don't know I, I don't really feel the bumps and whenever it hits a bump or like a pothole or anything it doesn't feel like you don't really feel it like the springs are really smooth and they ride comfortable so if you guys are uncertain if you should get the demon springs or something else I say go with the demon springs especially if you guys are like going to the drag strip or just doing any dig racing daily driving the the charger on demon springs it's, it's comfortable oh look at that that shit's nice but i'm happy with the purchase of demon springs and if i ever got any other charger or challenger i would definitely buy the demon springs again and i'm gonna recommend it to any of my friends that that do drag strips or anything just because I wasn't even planning on buying springs. I was gonna keep it stock height just because um, I have friends that have lowered their boats and afterwards they regretted it because they, they hate how like it hits it hits everything. Every little bump, they feel it and all that. But these springs, they ride comfortable. So I give it a thumbs up on the purchase and I highly recommend that you guys get it if you're looking into drag springs. And they're they're not bad on price either but i'll put the link of the carlisle demon springs in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future because i am planning on getting more mods for the boat but i'll see you guys next time and yeah just enjoy the videos